all of that. I'm sure there are some people watching or listening who aren't familiar with CHS. So can you give us a rundown? Sure. So this is a condition that was first published in 2004 in Australia um, based on several cases with an index case going back to 1996. Now, what's interesting is usually when something's reported for the first time, you have a real evolution of the description. However, they nailed it pretty much from the start. So what they were describing was a situation in which uh, chronic cannabis users uh, developed a syndrome in which they had nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, often cyclic, that seemingly was relieved by hot water bathing. Mm. And some of the patients involved would spend hours in the tub or the shower um, to try and relieve symptoms. Um, so uh, this gradually has become more frequent. Either ascertainment has improved or uh, what many of us think is that it's become more prevalent over time with the greater prevalence of high potency cannabis materials. And this seems mainly tied to THC. But we should point out that it's really an issue with any CB1, cannabinoid 1 receptor agonists, because the problem has also been described in people who are using some of the synthetics, uh, the high potency synthetic CB1 agonists in total absence of cannabis usage. Uh, so clearly that's the problem. Um, yeah, there've been other people that thought or would like to attribute this to pesticide exposure, but certainly people get this even with organically grown cannabis um, and like it or not, cannabis is the culprit here. Okay. Um, so these bouts with vomiting. Now, as I understand it, this isn't just sort of like an acute response where, you know, you kind of have one episode. It, this is this is going on for quite some time, hours, sometimes days. Yeah, that's an important distinction. Anyone can get sick from cannabis if they have exposure all of a sudden to too high a THC level. Hmm. So I, I think Many people have had the experience of uh, using a vape for the first time or having an edible that was too powerful and actually getting sick. So this is part of the problem. It's sort of counterintuitive to people because everybody knows that you use cannabis, at least in low dosages, to treat nausea and vomiting associated with chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't make sense to people that you can have this reaction that seems illogical. However, it's very consistent with what we know about cannabinoids, that they have what's called a biphasic dose response curve. Now to break that down, it means that a lot of the cannabinoids will have one activity at a low dose and an opposite activity at a much higher dose. And so that explains how people can get sick from THC acutely. But that's quite different from CHS, cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome, because that is a subacute or chronic problem where people um, will have these increasing bouts of attacks of nausea, vomiting, and abdominal pain. Um, and uh, basically, they go on until they abstain. Um, as we'll get into, there are treatments for it, but uh, they're a little um, different than what we'd expect as well. 